Hello to all my fellow believers of the one true faith. This is the Planetary News Network, for the final time, coming to you on this dark Wednesday evening. This shall be our studio's final report. For many centuries now it has been our privilege to bring you the news of the galaxy. However, all good things must come to an end, and it is time for our studio to close. Wait until the end of our usual program for a deep dive into this move. However, for now, the show must go on. Back to the war. Fleet engaged. First of our fleets has arrived, the Galactic Void Wings, we've got the Assault Void Wings coming in now. The Pearl Void Wings are making very quick work of all these stations, though we did run into a small fleet which took out two Corvettes, which is irritating, but nothing too awful. This place doesn't have shields though, which is unfortunate. We've got reinforcements coming in, however, we've got Nix's Revenge en route over here. Transport Void Wings are about to arrive so they can provide their assistance. Everything is slowly falling into place. Looking over here, the and a big enemy fleet is still distracted with what I assume is bombing planets. Or just standing around, whatever floats their boat. Several fleets in this system. Not sure what's going on over here. This uh, thing that's just popped up. Meanwhile, the Husko, they've been making some gains on the start around the Tycor, though they're currently trying to fight back against that. And around the rest of the galaxy, there's the odd skirmish. Apparently, the Confederacy has lost a lot of their ships. They're well below 100k now. So they've, I imagine they probably had some fights with the mediators before they were defeated. But for the most part, the smaller empires are largely contained and just fighting with my allies while I'm focusing on the big threat of the enforcers. Since I am the currently the most powerful non-fallen empire in the galaxy, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, number one in the victory sheet. Here, no. 
since most of the fleets are currently here and the first target is only a 9.2 station, I think I'm going to go ahead and just have them take that first one, which would be the Assault Void Wings, Runoff Void Wings, Yugalak Void Wings. Not the Federation Void Wings, they're not there yet. So these three fleets, making up 160,000, can go in and deal with that. While everyone else is preparing, they can hold that position for now. We'll see who that system belongs to before we consider whether we're going to take the planets or not, or, you know, have a crack and all the time. We have a 50k fleet currently on its way back, this is noted. Got all these reinforcements also arriving, however. It's currently two jumps away to get to us. But it is on its way. Uh, let's hold off. Ferris Void Wings were heading over there. Let's hold off on that for the moment. Head to that planet. Until we've taken it and seeing what exactly they're doing. Oh, Void Wings to Get your butts there. Zarklan's Void Wings can also get your butts there. Where's the... Nyx's Revenge? That's only one jump out, and then it's going to destroy that station, which is at an absolute cost of fuck anyway. I do not want this world. The planet, however, is salvageable, so I'll take that. I also get some nice stuff about it, like a research institute, for example. Well, then we'll have to see whether they're going to foolishly come in and try and attack, go to defend somewhere, or what else they might be up to. Ah, damn it! I've seen that these fleets are on the move. They might be heading back. I'll wait and see. But if they are, that's going to provide a bit of a problem and several large fights. We've also got this one over here. I've got all our fleets together, so we'll have to see how this goes if they are heading back. This remains to be seen, but yeah, that is several fleets, all but their biggest. We could take each one individually, though in quick su succession, I'm not so certain. We'll try and be quick with what we're doing here. We are going in to destroy this 50.2k fleet and this 9.7 station. The big fleets are slowly getting closer, but they are still a fair ways out. We'll keep an eye on that particular situation. One of our stations is beset by enemies. Apparently one of our stations is constantly being attacked. Meanwhile, we are one also... One of our stations is beset by enemies. Where? We're also getting rid of this... One of our stations is beset by enemies. ...station. And we've taken one this planet, so... Is beset by enemies. We're currently rebuilding that and also resupplying my armies. Is beset by enemies. Somewhere is being attacked constantly, and this is rather annoying. One of our well, whatever it was, it has stopped now, and we are engaging the 50k flea with all 372,000 of ours. Oh, just about all. That's not including the reinforcements, but close enough. We'll see how we fare against these 22 destroyers and all of this. Health numbered very much. Oh, we lost a couple of, uh... Zarkland Zoid Wings there. Damn it. That's very irritating. And that's the one fleet I can't actually, uh... Resupply just yet. Not until, like, next yes a thing, which is, uh, in... 2,661 days. So we've got to wait a while before we can resupply Zarkla and Zoid Wings. Still, they're down to 33,000. We're absolutely wrecking them. They're down to 13 destroyers. Several of their ships are retreating, though most, a fair few of them have been destroyed. If not most of them. Yeah, they're down to 9. And they are gone. We're onto the station. And we'll 
see the stats on how many of our ships we lost. We've lost two Zarqua and Voidwing ships, which is unfortunate. In the first volley, they managed to get two of them. But we won the battle, and the station will momentarily be ours. Alright, well, I'm getting my transport fleets in position to retake the, this wall, because apparently it was a Havariga world. It was part of the commonality. So I'm going to retake it rather than blow it up. Meanwhile, I'm going to send Zarkland's Void Wings briefly around just to take a few easy to take systems and get them back by the time these guys turn up. Because I want to have all hands on deck for that. Oh, hello, they appear to be turning around. The 183 just turned around. What about these guys over here? The 153 is still coming. There was one more, wasn't there? I swear there was a third. I'm not sure where that's gone. Either way, the lead fleet has turned around. And then the other one is still coming, so I don't know if that's going to turn around or what they're planning. Where is this one going? It's just heading straight back. I mean... Okay. As usual, the tactical sense of a doornail, but sure. Oh, motherfucker. I see what the fleets have done. The two fleets, it wasn't going back. They merged into one singular fleet. That's what they did. Fortunately, I have more tie and hold points. Uh, Got a flak batteries, I guess. That's a problem. In other news, I've finally done that excavation. A very large structure of some kind occupies most of the interior of as the asteroid. The blast door, which once served as, as this structure's only entrance, still can't be opened, but a passage has been dug from the other side of the asteroid. Drill so far have been unable to penetrate the thick outer walls of the structure, but this method seems to afford the best chance of gaining access, despite the range of blast holds proved nearly invulnerable. Curious. Let's move on with it. We've got this fleet here. They are continuing to move towards that system. Ah. I'm trying to move my fleets back, because they're, they're trying to go to Whitson, so I'm trying to move my fleets back to Kildatha before it arrives, though I fear it may arrive first. We'll have to wait and see. You know what? Screw it. We're not going to make it to the other side before they jump in. Some fleets are going to get caught out, and we can't let them get caught out. That would be worse than just making a stand of all my fleets together. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our stand against that thing of all our fleets together, because these battleships have split off elsewhere, which leaves us a good opportunity to potentially take out this fleet before it can really be a problem. I just need all my fleets to work together on this one. Alright, here we go. The fleet is jumping in at any second. I've also got a bunch of reinforcements now coming in. They'll get involved in the fight. There's the portal. It's opening up. Get ready, guys. We are engaging the enemy. Let's quickly pause it and make sure all my other fleets are also getting involved. Go. Everyone in. Alright, my ships have opened fire. We've got range on our side. Our big cannons are opening up. It might also play to our advantage that this only destroyers. They don't have any truly heavy hitters. They've just got a lot of things. Still, we have more. Much more. But this is going to be a costly fight. No doubt. Question is how costly? Now we're taking out the first few of their ships. It's really opening up now. I 
I'm seeing explosions. We've lost the first few Pearl Void Rings. has lost quite a bit. Need a lot of reinforcements after this. I'll need to buy some more minerals. Have them all start repairing before I continue on with this. Right, they're below 2k, 200k. This isn't the biggest fight I've had, but it's the single most biggest fleet I fought at once. Claimed one of our fleets. Oh, that was one of the reinforcements. It's fine. It's fine. We've got more reinforcements coming in. They're down to 161. Miss all our fleets are still holding in there. Zarkland's Woodwing says it to lose a ship. They're down to 149. going on over here? What's this thing doing? That's just sitting, staying put for now. Alright. Hundred and twenty-four. Fair few of these ships are going to survive. We're destroying enough of them. one of theirs exploding down there. That's good. What are they down to? Oh, I've got my numbers in the way. I need to see. 68,000. Taking a fair few casualties. I'll sort out replacements after this fight is over. Hopefully Holy Define should have both of its shipyards active by then so that they can Contribute. Right, down to only 43,000. 67 destroyers from uh, the original 115. 34,000. Yeah, it, it's now easy enough for a, a, almost a si single one of my fleets to take. They're done. They are done. Whew. I think st st holding my ground there was the best option. Oh, an 81,000 fleet is going down to uh, Doska. Enough to deal with that on my own time. The 81k fleet over here is going off to join the 134 that I left behind. I have a feeling it's intending to resupply and join up. Also, it seems the commonality managed to get this gateway active, which means quicker reinforcements. Very nice. Alright, my fleets are now going in. We're going to cut off the 81k, which is now attacking Nafgorn. Which we don't want to lose. We need to keep the foothold we have. We got the 150k fleet over there, but... We definitely don't want it to unite with these battleships, so we are coming in with all of our fleets but our clans, which is currently off. We're getting the little systems. It's there, it's now heading to Kodaks. But everything else is now to attack. What's this fleet called? The Punitive Response Flotilla. And we need this system intact because it has the gateway, and that gateway is friendly and will allow reinforcements to pile on in quickly. We need to keep this system. It is 
strategically relevant. Right. Southlands going on, Federation Void Wings. They're still heading off to reinforce. That's fine. What I have here right now should be enough to take out that. Yeah, already. Long range is doing wonders. We've got more than enough to deal with this. Plus that 2.1k fleet there. Plus 91. That's suddenly shot up from minuses. My consumer goods are fluctuating a lot. I've also got my rare crystals back up. That's good. And all of everything else. Alright. As for this. I've lost a ship. It's got its fighters coming in. Come on lads, take them out. One of the battle cruisers has lost its shields and its armor, the Kokzina. Alright, it's retreated. Construction I'll complete. accept a retreat. And that massively weakens the rest of the fleet by 10k. So one battleship equals 10k. We free this, we free the other one, we repair them at this system once the station has repaired. And then we can start progressing to new systems and start taking out the 50k stations. I've got reinforcements constantly on the way. Should all be going fine. There we go, it's down to 9.8. Alright, it's gone. Now just the station. It also seems we've suddenly gained control over some systems over here. It seems the uh, Union and the Husko have been busy wrapping up the Commonwealth. Awesome. Well, this is going from bad to worse. I have 148,000 fleet moved in there. Another fleet is just turned up out of nowhere. 168,000 plus a six. Actually, not that one. It's uh, yeah, plus a uh, 6,000 over there. And we have their remaining big fleet from before 242,000 on its way back. I guess I've really gotten their attention. Well, I've got the 148 coming in, and I'm currently trying to take this station, which is. Unfortunately, if I can take the station before that fleet arrives, then I'll stand a better chance. Some unfortunate timing. Well, here they are. We managed to successfully take the station first, so we're moving in. First shots are fired. It's all destroyers. So 76 there, a 68. It's 130,000 plus 49. So we have more, plus you guys need to get in on this. Please, thank you. Well, it's below 80k now. Over, below half its shields, just barely over half of its armor. We've taken casualties on all sides, unfortunately. So we're going to need to probably hold position for a while, get Zark clans back here, really get some reinforcements in. But we will win this fight at least. Where's the other ships currently? We've got 164 there and the 70,000 there. And then we got this big one coming in over here. We're going to need to consolidate our forces and take the worlds we can for the time being. Once this fleet is defeated, I'll bring Zarklands around and hold position. I'll also need to bring in the Wardcracker. Still, that fleet's about to go bye bye. The 
There we go. Hopefully it's no more. What's left is retreated. Everyone over here, all enter orbit of that thing. Looks like over here, what was left of the fleets I'd previously defeated, plus the small one that had spawned, have uh, combined into one, which is now 238,000. Which wasn't a, exactly a dumb move on their part, that was pretty good. Now that fleet is singularly stronger than the three smaller fleets would have been individually. And question is, where is that going? Because I've also got the other 200,000 fleet incoming this way. Which is why I'm bunkering down right now. Another update on our archaeology. A hole has finally been drilled through the outer walls of, of the structure inside the asteroid. The interior is a vast command center or bunker of some sort, lived with the decay remains of thousands of dead aliens. Sitting through all Sifting through all this to gain a clear picture of what exactly was going on inside the asteroid would take considerable time. Oh, hello. It looks like the 242 that was coming my way has turned around. I suppose they're leaving the fleets they've left behind to deal with the matter. I will give the enforcers this. They are... Fair bit more difficult to handle than the mis than the mediators were. Putting up more of a fight. All right, they are launching another attack at me right now. Over at Albadan. 233. This is going because of my diminished state. This is going to be a much tougher fight. I need Darkland's Void Wings in here now. Come from the side, get them. I'm hoping President Sarkland Void Wings will tip the scale back in my favour again. Plus, I've got the station bonuses, which is now fully repaired. And that gives me. Increase weapons range, fire rate, such and such, plus fire support. And it has some fire craft to go with. There we go. Why aren't you attacking all of the Thresh Void Wings are? But the Ugalak Void Wings are not. They need to get in there. Ah, Nix's revenge had to retreat. It was taking too much damage. As for everything else, we're taking a bit of a battering, but we are still in the game. It's down to 74,000. Yeah, we outnumber its fleet power by a fair bit. It's going down rapidly now. We have this fight, but. It's been a costly one. We're gonna need to bunker down further. We're gonna have to hang tight for a little while, I fear. Well, good news is the big fleet is leaving again, so that's that worry. As for the 134,000 and the 94,000, right now they're just passing back and forth up here. I can handle those two fleets, it's the 200,000 to the left over here that I'm worried about, if that... I can't seem to make us mind up, which I'm fine with right now, as long as it stays over there. I can deal with the more manageable two, so long as I take them individually. Ah, fuck. I was saying they merged into a 231. Damn it. Alright, uh, since I've regained this planet, I've set it on martial law to increase soldier jobs, and it has a defense garrison of 1,459. That puts me at ease. Looks like the fleet might be coming for me as well. However, I have enough to deal with it. And since that's their only real threat of a fleet right now in proximity, dealing with it 
could be useful, though it will, again, require a lot of resources to maintain. Oh no, looks like they've decided against it and they're now on the trajectory towards uh, this little system here. Alright, we're about to have another engagement with the only fleet left in their territory, and it's a big one because they combined them. Oh boy. Go. 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 Everyone go. Not sure. This fight is pretty even. We're down to 178. They're down to 140. By the end of this, we're going to be in a decent bit of trouble, I think. They're down to 133. 12 Wood Wings is taking an absolute battering. They're down to 129. What are we at? 143. So we're just sticking 20k ahead of them. Both my Titans of Pearl Void Wings has fled. Ah. They have pulled slightly ahead in this fight. Down to 110, they're currently at 114. If we win, it's going to be a narrow victory. Construction complete. So Void Wings is down to 7.1. A lot of my ships have fled the battle. Only three to their hundred and five. They're down to ninety seven. We're down to eighty nine. What is their ship kind of looking like? Down to some escorts. The battle cruisers, we take down one of the battle cruisers there. The capacity will get a massive hit. Is anyone's guess who's actually going to come out on top in this one? Down to 73,000, they're at 88. Alright, I'm putting my, my ships out, save what's left. Well, would you look at that? The Alliance has actually sent in some ships to free this system. Which would be most helpful. If freeing it, or at least drawing someone away from the planet. Looks like I've got another update to my excavation. This asteroid once served as the hidden capital of a relatively large inter interstellar empire that dominated the section of the galaxy several thousands of years ago. From this fortified command center, the ruling elite, with thousands of military and civilian officials, administered the empire while safe from the violent reprisals their harsh policies often inspired. Contact the rest of their empire seemed to have been handled exclusively through encrypted subspace transmissions and a single freighter, which made periodic periodic visits to supply the base and transfer personnel. We've got our final update by the looks of it for this little excavation. From what can be pieced together, it appears that the resupply freighter collided with the asteroid due to a thrust malfunction, the resulting explosion damaged the blast doors and destroyed the asteroid subspace transmitter, permanently severing all contact with the outside world. 
Trapped and with no hope of rescue, the asteroid's inhabitants slowly succumb to starvation or suicide. The last logs of their single surviving subspace receiver confirms that their empire, suddenly bereft of its capital, descended into civil war and anarchy. Oh dear. Well, looking at the current situation, these guys are heading off. So, that's good. If they can just ping off elsewhere in the universe, that'll be fine. These guys, meanwhile, the bigger fleet is hanging around. And they're starting to build another one up there. Why? What I would really like is the other one to go away as well. I mean, if they left the area, then I might have a chance to break through, because their home world needs to go. It's nestled right in the middle. Like, we've barely clung on to our little foothold that we've managed to gain so far. Their home world really needs to go. They've got resources for days, and they're just making ships faster than I can destroy them. Alright, I've decided to pull my ships way back and reassess. I feel like I haven't done much this episode aside from hitting my head against a brick wall. These guys are much more built in than the mediators were. Much more difficult to get to the homeworld. If we can get to their homeworld, we can cripple their economy, which would help greatly, but... I've got to get my fleets away. I've got to rebuild them. I'm hoping the AI maybe leave this little pocket here alone that I've been doing, otherwise they're going to do all my work, which would be annoying. Hopefully if I can get like the big hitting fleets to piss off somewhere, I can deal with their smaller scattered ones, even if it goes up to 100k at one point. So looking here, if I can... If this little pocket is, say, left alone, I'm retreating up to this system here. If I could just head up through there, up to Osmodin, Ubelia, then I could hit the archives, which I've been trying to do forever. But for now, I just need to pull back and... Alright guys, I'm going to stop that right there. To be completely honest, this series, which has gone on for quite a long time now, like we're well into the end game. I could keep going and finish off the Fallen Empire, it would take a long time. I'll need to rebuild my fleet, and so I'm trying to go for the archives. However, I don't think I'm going to do that. The biggest, well, there's multiple reasons I think I'm going to end this playthrough right here. First and foremost, I'm bored. <laughs> I've been doing this for a while and it's kind of gone a bit stale. But the main reason for that is also another reason why I'm stopping it is because the late game slowdown is in full effect. Where initially it would take an hour and a bit to do 10 years and an episode. It now takes from 3 in the afternoon up until midnight practically to complete a single episode of this. It's taking far too much time, and it's a slog to play, because everything is so slow. Back there, in the episode you just saw, losing ships, as I was, it takes forever for a month to pass, forever for alloys to come in, forever for ships to build. So the entire game slows to a complete halt, and it's dull. Uh, and also... Since I've been playing this playthrough, Federations has come out, and mods have been updated, and frankly, Fe well, Federations has also got, apparently, performance fixes for the late game, so we'll see how that goes. But, at the end of the day, I think it's time to put this series to bed. A bit premature, I know, we didn't get to see the end game crisis and finish the war in heaven, so the story of the Davians remains somewhat untold, but you can see what would happen, like, we would have 
eventually brute force our way through that war in heaven one way or another. Chorus would have spawned, we either would have died or we would have won. Either way, slightly sad we don't get to see it, but this series, as it is, with the slowdown lag and with how long it's gone on, I won't be... I just, I just can't continue it. It's a complete pain in the ass. However, that's not the end of Stellaris. I fully intend to continue, however, with Federations, with mods, with the United Nations Space Command from Halo. In a galaxy that is filled exclusively with Halo species, which means, well, I'm gonna have one more order faction, one Fallen Empire faction, and I'm going to not be doing an Iron Man, so I have slightly more control with the console and saving. And also, mostly for the console part, when we hit the year 2500 this time, I'm going to spawn the event for the Endgame Crisis right then, right there. So we have a complete deadline we know we need to play for. A flood will spawn in the year 2500, or at least their event will spawn, they'll spawn within five years after that. But, so, so that is something to look forward to. Again, sorry that this series is ending so soon, but it needs to be done. Taken behind the shed, all to the back of the head. But thank you very much for watching Stellaris by our Covenant's Light, and I will see you in the next playthrough of Stellaris. But until then, Sarah.